Huge real. matchup on Monday night. It's the Packers heading to Minnesota. Vikings running back Dalvin Cook didn't participate in practice on Thursday, and he was asked how frustrating it is to have old injuries return in the past few months. Is this a frustrating time for you, Dalvin, after the injuries you went through your first two years to have this come up again? No, nah, it's part of the game. It's football. This ain't the end of the world. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> but we still playing football. Like, we winning. Like, we won Sunday. I'll be all right. Kirk Cousin is That's having so a dope. career year. Michael Robinson loves the answer <laughs> from Dalvin Cook as we welcome in Ian Rappaport to give us a status on the star running back Alexander Madison also not practicing. I do appreciate Dalvin Cook trying to make the reporters feel better about his own injury, but let me explain why Dalvin Cook is positive and optimistic. He is going to play in the playoffs. If the Vikings get there, and it seems like that's the direction they're heading based on all the math that I allow others to do and then read on the Internet, they're going to the playoffs. If that happens, he's good to go. The question really is, is he going to play this Monday? And from what I understand, that is considered unlikely. He has been battling an SC joint sprain in his shoulder. Now he has another injury, a separate new injury that happened this Sunday. He is pretty banged up, and when you put both things together, it makes it hard for him to actually get on the field. Now, would he play Week 17 if the Vikings need him to? If they got to win to get to the playoffs? That is certainly a possibility. It will be hard to keep him off the field there. As far as Alexander Madison, that really impressive rookie, under-the-radar rookie that you mentioned, he's got an ankle sprain, did not practice yesterday, but it's considered day-to-day, -day, and from what I understand, he is hopeful at this point to be able to play on Monday. And Mike Boone, we may trust, and Kirk Cousins, we certainly should trust. First time in his career that he has 10 wins, just five interceptions. We'll see how much he can put on his own shoulders on Monday night. Thank you so much. I know. Wow, Ian, right? Wow. Kirk Cousins doing his thing. And he's the worst Monday night football record, though. Yeah, I'm about to say, we should trust him. <laughs> Among all quarterbacks since 2000. Well, this is the other side. It's why he's compelling. <laughs> oh, and eight. That does not look pretty. So, Kyle, give Kirk Cousins a little motivation here. How much weight will be on his shoulders Monday night? A lot. And it's also, it's December 23rd. I bet Kirk has a lot of Christmas obligations. I bet my life he's an elf on a shelf guy. There's a lot of pressure that week. And this is just one of these things. Mm -hmm. One of these life tattoos like you know Brandon Marshall the receiver has never played in a playoff game he will always have to talk about that Mitch Trubisky was drafted for Patrick Mahomes he'll have to talk about it this weekend and Kirk Cousins can't win on Monday night but the thing is about that tattoo it's not one of these permanent ones it's a henna or one of like the peel off ones you go and beat an 11 and 3 Rodgers team on Monday night without your running backs poof it's gone it's a Christmas miracle we never need to run that full screen again it's over but if he loses again yeah, it's the tattoo that doesn't come off, and it's all on him. You need a Christmas mirror. I've been yeah. waiting four years for you to work henna into, uh, into <laughs> Do people still do henna? And yeah. you finally did it. See it at the county fair, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like finally that. did but, it. But, but, but Kyle, I mean, what it's, not like, it's not like a light switch, right? It's not like, oh, uh, it's a big game. I'm going to just play well. And for whatever reason, it, whether it's in Kirk Cousins' head or whatever the case may be, something happens to this guy in big games when the world is watching, Still? when there's a lot of pressure on him. Why? Like, for, I'm starting to get in my head that maybe Kirk doesn't have that gene. Yeah. He doesn't have the big game, big performance. It's interesting, though, gene. Mike, because I know you're a Big Ten guy. Yeah. Like, you go way back, like, Kirk never lost to Michigan. He yeah. would get up. He would Michigan State was knocking off Michigan. And... He's played really well in some of those games, but what have you done for me win? lately? I know. Does I'm this, with you. Does and this change your day, mind at all, even though it's not a big game? We talk about how he's not a winner, right? Because this is Kirk Cousins' fifth full year as a starter. His fifth year. Four of those years, he's had winning records. Not the, Only Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Drew Brees have won more games than Kirk Cousins in that span. That, so but it's these big games don't we're talking about. Exactly. Don't mistake what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's not a winner. He's, he's a good player. He, he's a good player. But... I need my quarterback, if you're making $25 million a season or $30 million mm -hmm. a season and it's all guaranteed, I need you to be the difference in these types of games. Mm. I don't need you to just kind of play normal and somebody else. No. We, if we're overmatched, you're the difference that we win. Mike Simple. Zimmer said it's going to be about more than Kirk Cousins. I was obviously trying to take the pressure mm -hmm. off of his quarterback. Because he knows. He knows. <laughs> but there's truth to that statement. And the beauty of this show is it's three hours. And if you don't get to use something earlier, you get to use it later. <laughs> I was complaining I had all these Viking stats. I didn't get yeah, to use Now I get it. to use it. Go on. Fifth in points for, sixth in points allowed, tenth in yards on offense, fourth in turnover differential, fourth in rushing, eighth in rush TVs, TDs. First in something. That's I what can't. Dalvin Cook, bro.
First, he's uh, not playing. Oh, newest TDs allowed. I can't even read my own mm. handwriting here. It's Matt good. Castle had beautiful handwriting. I don't know if you noticed <laughs> I that. I didn't. No. The you details did. you yeah. have. about him is beautiful. It must up. be a New England thing. Point being, yeah. this is a complete team. This is a team that you talk about the team you don't want to see. I don't want to see this team in the playoffs. No. Because it's about more than just Kirk Cousins. But who touches the ball every single QB play? QB wins is not a stat, Mike. Uh, no, I'm with Mike. We're on the I'm camera. Just say. Like, I want you to be the difference maker. What happens to him in these big games, in your opinion? Watching him from what you can say as an analyst looking. Does he have a meltdown? Is it too big for him? Can you see that play out on the field in those bright I wouldn't games? necessarily say it's a meltdown, right? But I, I, th there is something to big games when there's a lot of pressure on the line. Sometimes you, you psych yourself up. Um, Josh Allen was on Total Access a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about the Baltimore game. You know what he said? This isn't a big game. And I said, you know what? That's him psyching himself out. If he says it's a big game, he's going to overthrow receivers by 50 yards. You think it's been other things affecting Kirk Cousins? I think there's games. a lot of fake news about it. Okay. I think in think? a lot of those eight games, Kirk Cousins has played really well, sometimes like astronomically well. But I will close with this. Kirk Cousins is the guy right now. He'll give you 300 yards and a few touchdowns against the New York Giants and a win. You're a Minnesota Vikings quarterback. The whole point of the company yep. is to beat the Packers company yep. and Aaron Rodgers. I don't care what you do. This is why you make the contract. This is it. This is hey, real hey, football, not huge. fantasy. No, this is big. You're right. Yeah. Round <laughs> two against football. the Packers in that. Minnesota. That's on Sunday, but this is going on tomorrow on our network, KB. It is all day long. It's a Saturday. That's not a misprint. <laughs> you got a morning game, Texans Bucks start off the day. Build Patriots, one of the most compelling games of the year. Yes. And then Rams Niners, and then you get to watch football all Sunday, too. Break your remote control. Put it in the snowblower of the paper shredder. You don't need it. It's over. Big <laughs> game for Josh Allen in Foxborough. You're seeing one of the most compelling it games is. of the season right here on NFL Network. A lot of us Bills get a win. The table thinks the Bills can pull out a win. I don't know if Matt Kessel convinced me that they're going to win this game. I don't know Patriots. either. <laughs> I don't know. Fantasy championships are this weekend. Some people play fantasy football, Mike Rob. Oh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. But we were just talking real football, okay? Yeah. <laughs>